Hello and welcome everyone to another session of Flexa WAPI tutorials. In this video, we are going to see what are WhatsApp flows, how to use them and why they are super, super important as a business. So let's first understand what are WhatsApp flows. WhatsApp flows allow businesses to create organized and interactive messaging experiences, which means these are some of the system flows that we have created for you to explain to you what are WhatsApp flows. If you are a restaurant owner or belonging to, you know, food and beverage industry, maybe you want to include your customers to book a table with you, right? In this case, using WhatsApp flows, you can create book a table sort of form, right? And these forms work seamlessly and beautifully directly inside your WhatsApp. Okay. You can also use flows to create any kind of feedback forms. Okay. So in any industry, you always need customer feedback. If people are buying products from you, you can simply send them thank you message with a feedback button as a flow, right? If you belong to educational industry where you want people to enroll for your courses directly on WhatsApp, in that case, you can create a flow for enrolling your course, right? If you are hosting a webinar or a training series, you can ask them to create a survey and rate your webinar. So these are just the five use cases which we are showing, but the sky is the limit. There is no limit to any kind of flow you want to create for any industry you are. If WhatsApp is available in your country, you can use these options to create any kind of customized form, send to your customers directly on WhatsApp and get your details filled, right? Similarly, this is the fifth flow as an example where you can get app signups to your app or your software okay now very important thing is whatsapp flows are so beautiful and important that you can even collect payments as customer fills the information you can set up a reply bot on that information and send them a customized link using integrations right so that flow is very advanced and we are going to cover that inside another video. For this video, I'm going to keep this simple. So let's go on user flows where you are going to create your own flows. Okay. You can see here we have created some of the flows here. And these are the flows that are already published and approved in our account. Let me show you the preview of one of the flow. When you click on preview flow, the system is going to automatically preview this flow directly on the meta website. As you can see the URL here, this is my flow ID 532 blah, blah, blah. So this is my flow message. Okay. And meta allows you to see this flow. Once you click on the preview flow, this link is now activated for 30 days. So you can even send this link directly to anyone and get feedback whether you need some more things or details here or not. Okay, so you can fill all these details and see that if you make mistakes, it is able to even detect you with validations. Correct. Similarly, this is wrong. Mobile number should be numeric. So it is also validating your form. Okay. So now let's go back and create your first flow. In order to create flow, first of all, you need to give your flow a name. Okay. So let's design probably a feedback form. Okay. Give your screen a title. This is just for reference. Okay. Flow name is for reference. This is what the people will see as your screen title. Okay. So I'm going to call it leave a feedback. Okay. 
and this is your action button which you can use and rename to anything for example submit feedback now i will start adding the content and the fields inside this flow add content text so this is my text and this is the option window to change the default welcome message okay small body and caption okay so it just changes this and this can be your main uh, instructions so let's say fill out the form below and leave us your feedback to improve something like this a heading you can give if you don't like the small you can use the big heading or you can use the small heading or anything you like now this option window will always remain open for you to design any number of fields over here in the flow so let's pick text option as short answer where you have different types of fields to be selected so i want to collect the name of the customer who is giving me this feedback again i'm going to enter another short answer and this time i will collect his email id okay one more option i need in the short answers that is his phone number so i will ask the customer to give me his number now what i want him to do i want him to give me a rating from 1 to 5 right so what i will do i will either choose uh, the selection from single choice or a drop down so my choice is always radio therefore i am going to choose single choice please give us rating below okay so excellent good then you can add another options which is fair and probably another option as bad okay so that's how i can design my fields and my messages and everything else i can even put up date fields here or if i want to collect some comments i can also choose enter comments okay and it is going to get me even a a custom paragraph so that's how you design your flow once you are done with your designing click on the save flow button don't worry if this takes a bit because this flow is directly getting submitted to meta therefore it takes a bit of time to get this flow published in meta once you receive this message your flow is created go back to whatsapp flows and you have to go on user flows and click on this button now okay sync flows go back on user flows and you will see that your feedback form is now saved as draft right if you want to create use of this flow you need to first publish this okay so let's click on publish button and it says your flow is published and saved as draft you need to click sync flows button to display your flows and submit them for approval before they can be used in template so let me tell you very interesting thing here a flow can be only used inside a template so even if you get your flow created and published and approved the only way to use your flow is to get this flow approved inside a template okay so let's click on sync flows again to see if my flow is published here or not go on user flows and this was my flow feedback form test let's click on preview 
to see the direct live preview on Meta website. So this was my flow that I just created and it looked very well, right? It has all the options that we created along with the rating option to choose, a custom option to give the comments. So that's how you create a flow, okay? Now let's see how you can use this flow inside the template, okay? So go on template part, click on create template. Click on create new template. From this option, in the previous last video of templates, we ask you to use the custom setting inside marketing. But this time you want to use the flow, therefore you choose this option, flows, and give it a name as feedback flow test. This is just for reference. Pick your language in which language you want to create this flow and whatever language you want. Click on next. If you want to use the header, use the header with any kind of image, video or text settings. Okay. So for, for example, for this one, I'm going to choose an image. This is the image I want to use. I'm going to upload this image here. Okay. The image came here. Now I will select my body. Okay. Feedback form test. So that's how I select my feedback form. Now this feedback form will be automatically attached as a CTA message to my body. Therefore, my body message is this. If you liked Flexawapi and would love to provide your feedback, please use the option below something like this very simple very nice and sweet and since i already selected my flow id from here i will choose the footer option as same and this is my button text for the flow now you can see here this screen template screen is automatically modified for the flow it no longer asks you to give custom buttons or website or anything else okay because flow action as a CTA can only be used alongside himself. It doesn't allow you to use any other custom buttons, right? So leave a feedback will be the button name for my action. I will click on save. And now I can see again, this is sent for approval feedback flow test one. I will do the same process again sending this for approval to meta wait for a few seconds and my template is submitted and pending to review by meta okay let's wait for 10 15 seconds let's try to get the latest status from meta and see if they already approved our feedback flow or not. Yes, so they already approved our feedback flow test one, which is this message, okay? As you can see here, we selected a picture, we selected this message and leave a feedback, okay? Now let's use another broadcast campaign to finally send our first flow, okay? <coughs> flow test one select my template for the flow select my contact list send now since this time we have selected image as a variable okay therefore this section appears now so i will simply choose the file and I will click on send campaign as my button. So this time 
it will automatically start sending my campaign in a while and my flow with the message is successfully sent okay so thank you for having your attention over here let's connect again in the next video have a nice day